navigate to Studio 53. Good morning. I'm going to get my hair cut. There are a number of ways that you can navigate in uh, Tesla's. Uh, one is you can find it on the map and press and hold and it will then choose that place and say do you want to go there and you just press like a play button and it goes there. You can use voice commands if you know the name of it and it's a, you know, a, a name that would have a telephone number or something like that. Like, uh, you know, Vagabonds in or Walmart or whatever. And as long as it has an address and a phone number, I think it knows where it is. And therefore, you can then select which one from that list. You can also go to Google Maps and normally you would have your phone tied to your uh, Tesla account and then your phone becomes your key to your car. So when you have your phone with you, the car will unlock when you get close to it or when you try the handle and you know, you just don't need your keys. And uh, at the same time, uh, if you have like a tablet and you look up some place you'd like to go, a restaurant or you know, any place that you can find on Google, you can then go ahead and share that. And rather than share that with a person or whatever, you choose the Tesla app and it sends it to your car. And 99% of the time it works. Occasionally though, if the address is formatted improperly in the database, it you have to go and edit it, like put a comma between the state, the city and the state or something like that. But that's not normal. Normally it says, okay, and then when you get in the car, it's ready to go there. If you don't want to go there, you just cancel that and you can look it up later in the list and go there. It also will tell you how much charge you will have when you get there. It'll pick out uh, stops if you need to stop to charge to get there. And in addition, it will uh, if you, like the other day I went to Glassboro to Joseph Basio Metal uh, Industrial Supply Place and um, I just told it to go there. I picked it from the list because they have a couple of locations and it told me that, okay, when I went there and come back I'd have 40% battery life. Well, in reality I had 30 something and it, um, it's, it's because 39% uh, rather than 41% and it is because I left sentry mode on and it was a very very cold day and I hot dogged it on the way there so you know that was me now in reality um, I have produced a couple of videos where I've gone to Virginia and uh, and back and normally the uh, recommended no not recommended the advertised amount of range that I get here uh, and when I arrive at the charging station or home or some restaurant or some place that we go it's uh, in a 300 mile trip you can see how it wandered there because there were no lines and if anything it takes a tap out of the middle uh, somebody posted that when it decided to charge on off into a uh, parking lot, the strangest thing I've ever seen, um, it charged on off into a parking lot and the road was macadam and the parking lot was 
um, clearly crushed like um, white stone or gray stone definitely a different color there was no reason to leave the roadway and it left the roadway and that was quite unusual and, but he said, oh, well, it's because there were unpainted lines. Well, you could see on unpainted lines there, it went to, kind of went to the middle and wanted to take its half out of the middle. It did okay, though. The light changed. It was weaving its way through that car. Uh, uh, between those cars as did the car in front of us was very cautious going around them also we couldn't see very well with that vehicle there to make a right hand turn because it was pulled up pretty far this destination up here again is just going to leave us on this road here so it really won't pull into the parking lot like others like if I picked the location in here one of the businesses in here it would actually uh, pull into that parking lot and uh, as a matter of fact I've posted a couple of videos uh, using that parking lot now unfortunately you, know, you can't, can't see it now but there was a road that entered that parking lot on an angle and it was an angle backwards and there's also one going forward. It chose the one going backward and had to make more than a 90 degree turn to get in there. And I just thought that was odd. And it did it fine, but a human wouldn't do that. Even though we were going to that side of the building, we would just go, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyhow, uh, there's not much else I can say we uh, are at 10.69.25 uh, there are two little iterations that are out since then but I've talked to the people that have had that and there really is no great shakes I really wish that they would fix this uh, disregard for the traffic lights in Zion and Old Zion and also Steelmanville and Ocean Heights Avenue and they need to fix those things Thanks for watching. Bye.